Republican from Texas, and she joins me now live from Capitol Hill. Welcome, Senator. Thank you, Jerry. All right, so Mitch McConnell's plan, the essence of it, maintain all current income tax rates. He wants to keep all the tax credits, middle class bennies that people like so much, the child tax credit, et cetera, et cetera. But the Democrats really have something different in mind here. And let me read you a statement from Senator Max Baucus. I want you to respond to it. He says, we want permanency predictability. I'm so tired of an extender Congress. I think that's one reason people are unsettled. Changing dividends to 20% as opposed to ordinary income rates and keeping it the same as capital gains, I think, is good policy. I'm going for policy. Are you seeing from Democrats any hint that they might be willing to compromise with Republicans, or do they know they don't have to? Well, so far, we have seen no sign of that. Uh, we should have stability and predictability. I think business wants to be able to plan and know what to plan for. The reason that we have had extensions upon extensions upon extensions is because we never could get over the 60 vote threshold that the Democrats threw up to be able to make these tax cuts permanent. 60 Republicans would make the tax cuts permanent. Well, are the Republicans locked into an all-or-nothing policy, though? I mean, if you don't get what you want, will you say no tax cuts for anybody? Well, I think that none of us want to raise taxes on anyone during a recession. Seventy-five percent of the small businesses in this com country are taxed as individuals. They're subchapter S. They are taxed as individuals. If their tax rates go up, plus capital gains and dividends, and not to mention the marriage penalty, which was my part of this tax bill, um, you're not going to see hiring, and that's what we're trying to, to do is create jobs. Why would business be able to create jobs if they are going to have higher costs in health care reform and also higher taxes? They, they just can't right. afford to make those choices. Jobs are obviously I'm talking to business people a critically every day. important idea here, and I know so many Americans are so concerned about it, but we're trying to figure out what's going to happen with these income taxes. Are Republicans willing to hold up? any movement on this income tax bill in order to keep the tax cuts in place for the people in the $250,000 bracket. Will they hold this up? Will they stand in the way? I think that's putting the onus on Republicans when we have 41 out of 100 senators. We need to be able to state what we think is right for the economy. We've introduced legislation to do that. I'm a co-sponsor of Senator McConnell's bill. We do not want to raise taxes in a recession. We want to create jobs. Small business is the job creator of our country. But if you put health care reform and the costs of that on top of higher taxes, uh, they can't afford to hire people. And as I've talked to business people all over Texas, they are just in a stalemate mode. They're not going to move at all until they see what is really going to happen. And I would love for the Democrats to come to the table and say, you're right. And some of them have. We should right. raise taxes. This is too, too fragile an economy. We want to create jobs. So let's make sure that the tax well, fact, money stays in the Senator, person's pocket who earned it. Senator, five Democratic senators have actually crossed the line, as I understand it. I believe that's the most recent count. Does that mean you could, the party could filibuster this bill? And would they? Well, um, I don't know what the bill is. Senator Baucus hasn't revealed that yet. But if it is not going to free 75% of the small businesses in our country uh, to be free of tax increases on top of these health care costs, of course we will fight that so that we can uh, try to get, hopefully, them to come to the table and understand our point of view and work with us rather than just ignoring us as has been done mostly in the last two years. So you would possibly filibuster to fight this thing. Senator, thank you so much for your time today. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Now, if you're fired up.